here we are in the first gen. And in today's video, we are going to be going over all the questions you guys have been asking about the first gen and the first gen winner. Okay, everybody, we are going to get into the topic of the first gen here, which is sitting right here behind me. And what we're gonna be talking about with this truck, the plane, the plane, what is with the plane? You guys know, those of you that have been watching, every time I'm filming a video, I'm telling you more. Have a nice day. Hopefully you guys are all doing well. Um, we, we are gonna be addressing the elephant in the room, and that is the fact that the first gen is still here. And the winter announcement had still not happened. Now, by the time you see this video, the winter announcement could have already happened maybe even a week ago, like on our Instagram, because I'm filming these videos a little bit in advance. But at the time I'm filming this, we have just drawn the second winner, but they have not been yet called, but they've been drawn. What happened to the first winner of the first gen? Because I got comments. I thought you said it's seven to 14 days, you draw a winner. Seven to 14 days, seven to 14 days, seven to 14 days. So, all right. Now, just to be clear, seven to 14 days is a generalization. It's an estimate. It's it's basically just saying under normal circumstances, usually it only takes between seven and 14 days. Can it go over and be 15 or 16 or 17? Yes, that can happen. But generally speaking, it's only seven to 14 days between the time a giveaway ends and we have a winner drawn and called for the giveaway trucks. So I wanted to change the angle here so that the lighting was a little bit better. Sorry, in the beginning it was just a, the lighting was a little bit terrible. Uh, actually, it's pretty terrible. So you guys are probably wondering about the first gen. We're gonna go into the details on that. So we had all the information submitted to the sweepstakes agency that does the drawing within like 10 or 12 days of the you know, giveaway ending and everything was in with them on time, on schedule. So, and again, on their time, it depends on their schedule. Sometimes it's immediately, sometimes it's a day or two before then they do a drawing for our business for the giveaway. And why do they do the drawing and not us? Well, because they're not making money off the giveaway. So it's considered a non-biased, uh, they're not like an employee that has some kind of big benefit to like drawing a certain person that can get paid off to draw them. They can't like, you know, they're not gonna gain anything with or without the customers or the fan base because it's not their business. They only get paid to conduct the drawing and do the legal paperwork and that's it. So the amount of money they make in their involvement is limited to the same thing every month. He did the drawing, contacted a guy out of Oklahoma and we're not gonna give his name because I don't know why he didn't fill out the paperwork. I don't know if there were some other reasons other than skepticism or thinking it was a scam. I'm not sure. So the winner was drawn. The winner was spoken to. I did not, but he did talk to him on the phone, gave him all the details, told him the procedure. And our, our phone calls are not sketchy. We're not like, oh, hey, you know, fill out this thing and then send it, you know, buy these things and pay this registration fee and pay the tax on it and then we'll reimburse you once you come pick it up like there's a whole bunch of scams where they ask for you to pay for certain things or go get certain prepaid cards or play google play cards or whatever they ask for the serial numbers on them stuff like that like those are like obviously scams we don't ask you to pay for anything on the phone however we do ask you to sign a release of liability and affidavit just signing that you're confirming you're accepting the prize and as is condition and that you're accepting the truck and the responsibility of the income tax that comes along with the truck and the cash because yes you have to pay taxes it's not a rule that we made up that is a federal regulation that we wish was not the case but it is required which is why you see all these giveaways that are giving away like brand new trucks and they're offering 20 30 40 50 grand well they're offering more cash because they're giving away trucks that are exponentially more expensive so you're still gonna have to use pretty much all that money for tax um, it sounds better, but it, it still is there for the same purpose. Same with our trucks. Like this truck, you know, the book value on it is not that substantial, even though, of course, us in the market of these things, we know that this truck in this condition is worth X amount of dollars. The government wants you to pay tax based on what the truck is technically worth according to book values, which is down on documentation, and you sign for that when you win it. Generally speaking, for most all of our giveaways, the five grand is gonna more than cover the taxes for the truck, and you don't have to worry about that because, of course, we're not giving away $150,000 trucks that are gonna have a $50,000 tax bill. We're giving away trucks that are, generally speaking, 
you know, in that $20,000, $25,000 range. You have to sign that stuff basically stating that you under you fully understand that in the following tax year, you're gonna have to pay income tax on the evaluated value of the truck plus the cash amount as well. For some reason, after the phone call, he said the guy wouldn't explain it to him. He just was like, yeah, I'll get you the information and he'll have it to you by tonight. And then he said, he just went MIA, like just disappeared. He's like, tried calling him several times, leaving him voicemails, tried emailing him. I emailed him, I said, hey, this is Malachi with LNP. You know, it's, it shows that you entered the, the giveaway at lnpgear.com. I'm not here to get any information from you in my email, but please respond and he's trying to help you out with winning this truck and this cash. But you have to follow his basic procedures, otherwise we can't we can't give you the truck unless you go through the basic steps. And no responses to my emails, just nothing. I mean, he just disappeared. Like he went from like totally excited apparently and like, yeah, I'm ready for this, unless he was just doing it on the phone. And then he thought, no, this is a scam. I'm not sending him anything. But he left him voicemails. I left him an email a few days ago and nothing, nothing, no responses, nothing, not just no cooperating with any of the requests. It's hard because like, I'm not saying this in a way that's like the guy's a jerk, you know, like he's wasting our time. But like in the same sense, now it makes us look bad because now I got people that are commenting under some of our posts that are like, oh, this guy scammed us because we were supposed to have a winner six days ago. And look, there's no winner. Must have been a scam. Well, no, it's not a scam. The guy was just taking a sweet time. It still never filled anything out. So we're not gonna let that take away too much from the moment with the new winner, because of course, this has happened one other time where a guy completely turned down a truck and I talked to him, our attorney talked to him, everybody talked to him and we're like, dude, like, we don't know what else to tell you. I mean, you have to fill this out. You can call any other giveaway company or email them and ask them if this is legit based on needing you to fill out a 1099 and sign a document releasing you know, the prize. And they're all gonna tell you, yes, that's a normal procedure. For whatever reason, just like that other guy several years ago, he's like, I'm not filling out anything. I'm not filling out any tax form or anything. You know, so he declined a $40,000 truck. Of course, this isn't a $40,000 truck yet. <laughs> Maybe someday it will be. We don't really know why though for this guy, but he, he didn't fill out any of the information. He didn't get in touch with us. He never called us back. He never left us another voicemail. He never emailed, never responded. Just kind of like after that phone call saying he won and telling him the information, sending emails over, no response. No text message response, just nothing. Just no responses back. I'm making this video just in case there would be the off chance somebody goes on social media saying, hey, I was supposed to win that truck. You know, that was supposed to be me, but they didn't respond to me or they didn't give me the chance to send stuff back. We gave the guy a full week, which normally we do not do. Usually we give you three days to cooperate. If you do not, we have to go into the next winter because there are a few thousand people that are waiting to hear on who won the truck. And we can't just like push everybody off and make everybody else wait if somebody decides to take two or three weeks to sign the documents because they just want to play it safe and, you know, take everybody's time up. We can't do that. In this situation, we gave him more than the three days that we normally wait. We gave him six days and still no cooperation. So we had to move on to the next winner, which was drawn. And my attorney said he did speak with him today. However, he has not finished everything yet. So hopefully he's got all the documents signed that he needs to sign to release the prize and the 1099 stuff. That way we can then of course have him out to get his truck. So that being said, um, Hopefully by the time you're seeing this video, it's not more than a, another week or so. And we're gonna have a winner out here to pick up this beautiful first gen. And hopefully we are able to, in this next video here, make a phone call, getting him on the phone, celebrating his victory with winning this truck. And hopefully he is super excited about it. So I did hear that he was from Idaho. So there's always that. But let's try to move on here. And um, same thing with the Rosine giveaway guys, you know, seven to 14 days you know, we should or could have a winner, but if it goes 15, 16, 17, you know, like it, it's just an estimation. It's always close to that, but sometimes it goes over. No, it's not a scam if it takes 16 or 17 days instead of 14. It's just maybe it took them a little bit longer to get around to doing the drawing for our business and getting us all the information that we needed so that way we could award the truck. Um, it's just legal stuff, guys. If we wanted to do an illegal giveaway, we would just do buy our tickets with a little raffle creator link and say, hey, you can buy this many tickets for this much money and just pocket a bunch of money, do an illegal live drawing on like Instagram or something and tell everybody that it's legit and you really just 
not legally doing a giveaway. <laughs> that, those happen a lot, actually. There's, there's some people out there that are doing those that uh, I'm really surprised they haven't been shut down for that yet because uh, that stuff is like highly illegal. And so for the people wondering, why do you have to buy merch? And why do you have to have all the legal documentation? Why do you have to have, you know, laws and regulations that you follow and rules on the site? Well, it's to protect the business, but it's also to protect you. We do not want you spending your money on a giveaway that is not registered, insured, and bonded to make sure that no matter what happens with the giveaway, whether we make money or lose money, you will win your truck, you will win your cash. That is how it works with a legally bonded and registered giveaway. The start date and end dates never change. The giveaways are always guaranteed. It does not matter if at the end of the giveaway things went terribly wrong on our end financially or anything like that, you win the truck and the cash. That's bottom line, that's how it works. Hopefully you understand with the first gen winner situation that it's been a, over a week delayed at the time I'm filming this. By the time you see this, it'll be about two weeks. However, Again, if you've checked us out on Instagram or Facebook or on the website, we may have already announced and posted up the winner for this truck right here because this video is being filmed and posted a little bit later than when we should actually have the winner information released for this truck. Um, but just to clear some things up for anybody wondering, I've gotten lots of comments and messages about the first gen. What happened to the first gen? Why is there no winner? Did you guys cancel the giveaway? I appreciate you so much for Hanging in there, being patient. I know that it makes us look bad when people drag on and cost everybody time and everybody's anticipating and anxious and excited to see what happens. There's only so much we can do. Unfortunately, we do not have control over time and everybody else's agendas and theories and things that they drag on or change or do whatever. Hopefully you are excited about entering to win that truck. And for those of you that are, you know, are entered for Rosine, fingers crossed there could be a winner any time now within seven to 14 days and uh, pretty excited stuff. And then also 30 times entries towards winning this second gen 12 valve five speed manual dually four wheel drive truck does end on Sunday. The 30X bonus does end on Sunday. So if you wanna grab those 30 times entries, you're running out of time. Head on over to the website or the app, olympicgear.com app download links if you prefer to shop on the app. Uh, app download links are in the description below also. But uh, just place an order and you're automatically under win. 30 times entries for launch week do end on Sunday, however. So if you want to grab our highest entry multiplier for every $1 spent, that does end on Sunday. We would be super excited to have your business and we appreciate all of you guys. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.